Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ko here. I know we got some dirty Chen mains watching the video today because I think Chen just got a little bit stronger with this new Donkey Kong build as it's being called, which relies all about uh, on the keg smash ability rather than flying kick, which has been the uh, the general way to go with Chen. I mean, we've already seen Chen just skyrocket to the tip top of the tier list. And now with this build that makes him potentially even stronger than he was already, it's going to be real scary. We're going to be seeing a lot of pandas. And uh, I want to show you guys the breakdown of the talent choices. You can go with this build so you can try it out yourselves, which I highly encourage you to do because not only is it brokenly strong, but it is fun to play. It is a really good time just throwing barrels out all the time, you know, role-playing Donkey Kong a little bit. So let's get right on into it, guys. And we're going to talk a little bit about the sacrifices that you would make as opposed to going the flying kick build as well. So at level one, you're still going to go the uh, elusive brawler. Unless you're against all mages, then I would say go grounding brew. Uh, I think it's probably like the best level one talent in the game. Elusive brawler is crazy strong. And all right, so a keg toss at level four. Now this is the quest. If you haven't seen it before, it increases your damage, and when you complete the quest, it becomes a ranged ability. You get 125% increased ranged, and it has an additional charge. So you can literally, like, normally you just jump on somebody and then hit them with a barrel, and you just slam dunk it on their face. Now you can throw that, like, make three-point barrels all day. Um, it's pretty ridiculous, and that whole bit about it getting a second charge, also a very key point of information. At level 7... You got two options. You can either go Brewmaster's Balance, I'd say if you're against a lot of slow damage and uh, maybe not as much burst. But if you are against that burst and need to catch out those high cooldowns with a big shield, Boulder Flavor is probably the way to go. Just gives you that instant big shield. So that's the one I picked for this particular uh, talent choices. Uh, at level 10, your ultimate. If you got an isolation comp and you're trying to get kills, Wandering Keg is still a great option. But Storm Earth and Fire, I think if you have some peel on your team already to uh, protect your backliners. Storm Earth and Fire is just so good to be able to just jump in there and put a bunch of pressure on their squishies in the backline. Mm, it's good stuff. Level 13, Touch of Honey. This is where it gets crazy, guys. A 40% slow for three seconds. And not only that, you got two charges of it. So you get to just nonstop stack that on people. Oh wait, level 16, another round. So when you hit somebody with Keg Smash, the cooldown of your next basic ability is reduced by three seconds. Pair that with having two charges of barrel that's slow for 40%. Then all of a sudden, now because you have two charges, the first barrel that you use reduces the cooldown of the barrel that comes after the free one. It's pretty ridiculous. It gets out of control real quick. So uh, those are the key, you know, differences, 4, 13, and 16. Normally you just get all the flying kick ones there, and now you just get all the keg ones there. It's pretty pretty simple stuff to follow. And then at level 20, I'm not really sure what actually is the best here, but I feel like with the spam ability of the barrels and how much you actually use abilities, Storm South Secret Recipe where you get 1.5% of your max health every time you use you know, basic abilities on an enemy hero, I think that's probably the way to go. I mean, in team fights, it's just going to keep you alive pretty much forever as long as they can't burst you down. And uh, that's, that's pretty nasty stuff. So, what are you giving up? Well, normally you get a little bit extra damage from level 4 Deadly Strike. People love that talent. But you have to have uh, Brew, right? Uh, you have to have Shields, rather, from the Brew. So, that's a little bit of a caveat that makes it sometimes not as um, consistent. Now, level 13, you get a 35% slow for one second, or 75% if they're soaked in Brew. Now, that is a big slow, 75%. It's basically the root that you get from it. However, if you are running the, um, the, sorry, the keg smash ranged build, you're going to be stacking a 40% slow for three seconds with a range as well. So that allows you to set up your backline carries to hit their cooldowns and skill shots as well much easier. Um, and then at level 16, you get 20% range for flying kick, which to me is just like not very strong. In general, Chen's level 16s are pretty weak sauce, but I think another round with this build and the way that it synergizes together makes this pretty uh, secret OP right here. So uh, that's pretty much the the differences. You really don't give up all that much, honestly. Just uh, just basically some damage, you know. And your single target chase will be better with flying kick uh, build. But the amount of rotational delay and dismounts and just annoyances that you can do. I swear, you almost feel like you're playing a mind build Abathur sometimes when you're just constantly throwing those barrels over the wall, hitting the enemy team and slowing the rotations. It can get pretty out of hand. So 
definitely give this one a shot. Now, I'm going to show you guys a clip of a game that I played on stream yesterday, just so you can see what it feels like on the other side when you're against the Chen and they're tossing these barrels at you. Just so you can see how much I get slowed trying to rotate on Dragonshire. Uh, so enjoy the clip, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Have a good one. Fight me! Na, 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 na. Literally can't Chen is literally bodying us. Damn. That was beast. We got the infinite bottom. slows. They got both. I'll just watch mid. Chen just pooping on everything. I can go top if you guys can delay. Yep. 